One of the most common operations in RPG games is exchanging items with other characters for money. The inventory module provides a very flexible and easy to use merchant system that supports all kinds of settings to tailor the trading experience to your game's needs. But before digging any further into making a merchant, let's prepare our scene. Here, we have a simple scene with a playable character that has an empty bag component and a trigger that opens the player's inventory skin. We'll create a new character that we'll use as the merchant. We'll add a bag component that contains an armor and a helmet, which will be the merchant's available stock items for sale. In order to define this character as a merchant, all we need to do is to add the merchant component onto the same game object. This component contains optional information at the top that can be modified to display the merchant's name and description. Right below, there are the interesting bits. By default, a merchant can exchange currency for items and vice versa. However, if you want the merchant to always have enough currency available so the player can sell their valuables, tick the checkbox that reads Infinite Currency. You can also tick the Infinite Stock checkbox and the available stock will never decrease when the player purchases items. The Allow Buyback checkbox allows the player to buy back items that have been sold to the merchant. If that checkbox is unticked, any items sold to the merchant will be destroyed. Ticking the Sell Niche Type checkbox reveals another field that allows dropping in an item asset. This is very useful when you want the merchant to only sell a specific type of item, regardless of their available stock. The next two fields, Buy Rate and Sell Rate, refer to the coefficient applied when buying or selling an item from the merchant. A buy rate of 1 means the player will buy items from the merchant at their original price. A sell rate of 0.5 means the player will sell its items at half their price. It's worth noting that these values can be dynamic and bound to how charismatic the player is, whether it has completed a certain set of faction quests, and so on. The last two fields are bag and skin UI. Bag refers to the bag component used by the merchant. By default, it is set to reference itself. As in most cases, the merchant component will be attached alongside a bag component. The skin UI asset refers to the custom pre-made merchant user interface asset. Now that we've seen an overview of how the merchant component works, let's create an instruction that opens the merchant's interface. To do so, we can use the Open Merchant UI instruction. Let's click Play and see it in action. As we can see, the interface shows the merchant's inventory on the left side, with an armor and helmet available for sale. And on the right side, we see the player's empty inventory. But, uh-oh. The player doesn't have enough coins to purchase any of the items. Let's take a look at how currencies work and how we can give the player some allowance to buy that shiny new armor set. The inventory module supports multiple currencies. This means that more than one currency can exist in the world and each one can purchase different items. To create a new currency, right click on the project panel and select Create Game Creator inventory, and currency. A new currency asset will appear with an empty list of coins. Most games make use of one single coin, such as Giles, Gold, or Galactic Credits. But the inventory module also supports currencies that have multiple coins. A coin is a name with an assigned value. For example, we could define that a coin of copper is the base unit. A silver coin has a value of 25 copper coins, and that a gold coin has a value of 100 copper coins. The inventory module comes with this exact same example. 
Now that we know how currencies work, we can increase the player's wealth so it can purchase some items from the merchant. We'll be using the Change Currency instruction and we'll change its parameters so that it increases its value by 130. A value of 130 means that the player will have a gold coin, which has a value of 100, one silver coin, which has a value of 25 units, and five copper coins. If we click play and open the merchant's interface, we'll see how these are the values that the player has in its bag and that he is now allowed to purchase those items. After doing so, he can finally open up his inventory and wear them with pride. This and much more can be learned with the built-in examples of the inventory module. Available now on the Unity Asset Store.